in this question of the day, this is a question I've been getting a lot lately. I'm very surprised, but I wanted to address it so that way I could help answer possibly this question for you if you're having the same question. This is for backup power or alternative power for a house. And in this case, this gentleman is looking at getting a backup power system that can run his small house off grid if the grid is down. Now, the real key factor here that we're trying to figure out is what's inside the house. Because it honestly doesn't matter the size of the house when compared to the components or the things that you're running, the devices and appliances that you're running inside of the house. As an example, a gas dryer, right? A gas dryer is only gonna use 120 volt power and it will probably use anywhere from 200 to 300 watts while running in order to be turning the drum and have the electronics running. Whereas an electric dryer will easily use over 5,000 watts in order to be doing the same thing with the drum, but also running the electric heating element. And so for that reason, it matters a lot what's inside the house, not necessarily the size of the house. Uh, so he says he wants to be able to run a small house, but if he has an electric dryer, an electric water heater, a well pump, electric stove, an oven, all of that equipment would require more a more powerful system than say a 3,000 square foot house where everything heat related is on natural gas or propane. So this is why it's important to factor what's inside the house, not the size of the house. So this is what I do all day with people is I help them figure out what system is going to work best for them. If you want help with that, just shoot me an email to info at poweredportablesolar.com. So in his case, he also wants the option to use a wind turbine. Now in every single case, as in 100% without any deviation, Every single person who has owned a wind turbine that I have talked to, both locally and abroad, every single one of them has said that they wish they did not get the wind turbine. If anything, that they wish they had just put that money to getting additional solar panels. Solar, by far, by and large, beats wind every time. And it's better to put that money towards more panels and more batteries than a wind turbine. So a wind turbine can serve a purpose obviously when it's either super cloudy or the sun's not out due to it being nighttime. In that case, it is possible to use a wind turbine basically just like a solar panel. You don't need anything special. You just have to make sure that the wind turbine, its output voltage and amperage is within the charge parameter of the charge controller on the device you want to run. So for example, a Delta Pro, just as an example, its charge parameter is 11 to 150 volts and up to 15 amps. So as long as the wind turbine is within that charge parameter, the charge controller is gonna take that energy and convert it into battery storage or energy for it to be used later. So you can use wind turbines at any time with pretty much any of these systems, but truly from everyone I've ever talked to, you're better off just getting more solar panels. And I have reached out to no less than six different wind turbine companies asking if they have one that they could recommend that I can review. Every single one of them has refused to sell me a wind turbine after I mentioned that I had a YouTube channel. Not even, I'm not even talking about gifting me one to review. They wouldn't sell me one. And that to me is a huge, huge red flag. So it's not necessarily the size of the house, it's what's inside the house. And it's definitely better to go with more solar panels and more batteries than a wind turbine. But if you absolutely must do a wind turbine, just stay within the charge parameter and you should be good to go. Thanks guys, prepare for self-rescue. See y'all in the next one.